Well, well, what have we here? Allow me to introduce myself. I'm Susan Lancaster. Perhaps we can become better acquainted in the near future. Me too. Especially rich, fine young men. Mm. Listen, you look like you can handle yourself. You survived out there in the wasteland getting here after all. You ever have to deal with ghouls? Fine, never mind. I thought you were a real man. Turns out you're just a scared little boy. Are you going to do something about the problem or not? You're something else. Not like these other losers. Beats living out there in the wasteland, trust me. See, I'm not like these other puffed-up fogies. I earned my way into privilege. I worked to get here. Yeah, goodbye. Hey, you're new around here. I'm Margaret Primrose. I run the Café Beaumont. Stop by sometime. Chief Gustavo assures us that he's increased the number of the security team and will kill any zombies on site. Really? Well, that'd be wonderful. Talk to Chief Gustavo about it. It's a great place to live. I've always dreamed of giving people fresh meals and a place to relax and enjoy a good conversation or two. Tenpenny gave me a place to do that. I'm greatly indebted to him for that. Indeed. Everyone who lives here has worked hard to get here. That's why we can't just let those ghouls in. They demand the right to live here, but what have they done to prove themselves worthy? I guess I never thought of it that way. It's probably really hard just living day to day like that. Now I feel a little ashamed. Every day it's the same thing. The man has no imagination with his meals. But it's his building, so every day I make that damned iguano bit sandwich, no salt, with a peeled pear on the side. Send it up to the penthouse. Have a good one. I think I'll take a moment for myself and eat it. Back for the best? If they got in here, they'd get their filth over everything. You can smell them a mile away. I hope they come back and get killed by security. Well, I just thought, never mind. Hour. Back for the best? Tenpenny is a classy place. Just look at me. Look at my shop. Can't find top shelf class like that anywhere else. Indeed. Though Tenpenny has put a lot of work into restoring it, and he's hired security to keep us safe but they seem to be having some trouble with a pack of ghouls living in the tunnels nearby. Don't suppose you've encountered many ghouls on your travels? What? Have you lost your mind? He stays in his penthouse suite most of the time. So long as we pay the rent, he lets us live here. Until next we meet. I'm at the top of the world. <laughs> we are safe from the wasteland in here. I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct your security concerns to Chief Gustavo.
Good to see you. Give it a rest, will you? How can you be helped today? They were told they can't live here, but those zombies are too stupid to understand. They live in their own filth, squatting in the nearby metro tunnel. Security keeps shooting them, but they keep coming back. What are you suggesting by that? I don't think I like your tone. Ah, ready for... Only those deserving to live here can afford it. And let me tell you, those who do live in style. People are dying to get in here, like those dirty ghouls. Or at least they should be dying. Security has got to get their act together. But luck has nothing to do with it. We deserve this, all of it. Not everyone is as smart, as pretty, or as wealthy as the cream of the crop. Don't blame me. Blame Mother Nature. Survival of the fittest. It's the game of life. We're the winners. And those ghouls, they are definitely losers. That's a silly question. What I have against ghouls is that they are ghouls. A very well-dressed gentleman, when he bothers to get dressed, he hardly ever leaves his penthouse suite. There's no helping some people, is there? Hi. I'm Michael Hawthorne. Who are you? And more importantly, should I care? Oh, fine. We'll have to share a drink sometime. I'm always in the Federalist Lounge. There's certainly plenty to drink about. Take those ghouls, for example. Don't suppose you know anything about dealing with their kind, do you? Oh, I see. Well, I've never met one, so I wouldn't know. I just always thought, I guess I really don't know what I thought. We haven't discussed this already? Apparently, there's a pack of zombies living in the tunnels. Gustavo says he has it under control. On the bright side, it's given me another reason to hit the drink. Yeah? Talk to Gustavo. He may wish to employ your assistance. Well, it's a great place to live, if you don't mind ghouls breathing down your neck. Right on. Hi, my name is Tiffany Chen. My miserable excuse for a husband is Comrade Irving Chen, and you can tell him I said so. Do you know he tried forming a committee to discuss the ghoul situation? A committee! He made himself chairman, of course. What we need is somebody to do something, not just talk about it. Don't suppose you know anything about ghouls, do you? I wish I could. I get nightmares from time to time. They are living in the nearby tunnels. They scare me. Why doesn't somebody do something? Perhaps you're right, but I prefer to keep my nightmares a fantasy and not test my luck with the real thing. Thank you very much. What? It's very clean and safe here. Well, mostly safe. They say those ghouls won't get in, but I don't know. Take care. Care to wet your whistle? Don't you worry about any such thing, sir. Care to wet your whistle? Mrs. Chen. 
care to. He is the right lord and master of Tenpenny Tower. Or at least that's what my files say. Cheers. Edgar, one has to wonder about Mr. Tenpenny, doesn't one? I mean, we're all grateful for the tower, but the man is a recluse. I wonder what he's hiding. Oh, I don't know about all that. Are you even listening? Uh... I swear, Edgar, it's in one ear and out the other with you. Ugh! Edgar Wellington II, have you met my wife, Millicent? Hold on, who let you in here? There's no need to get snippy with me, boy. We're all a little perturbed on account of those ghouls. Don't suppose you know anything about ghouls, do you? Then you obviously don't know anything about ghouls. There's a pack of zombies living nearby in some old tunnel. They asked to move in, naturally. They were told to go to hell. Gustavo's hired some additional goons. Seems to be working. Still makes one a bit fidgety having those loathsome creatures around. I wouldn't even want them as slaves. <laughs> well, I... I just remembered I have something important to do. Goodbye. I remember you. To what... It's the place... Of course those ghouls are trying to move in here. Can you fa- Of course those Farewell. Introductions are in order. I am Mrs. Edgar Wellington. You may refer to me as Madam or My Lady Wellington. You're better mannered than your apparent breeding would indicate. It is nice to make your acquaintance. You didn't happen to catch a glimpse of any ghouls on your way in here, did you? I do hope you're not referring to me. I'm certainly a better conversationalist than some stupid ghoul. And I smell better, too. Again with the ghouls! It's all anyone will gossip about. I can't help thinking about them. Doing things to us. Let's talk about something else. Really? How? Wait, I, I, I don't really want to know. It probably entails something wickedly awful. Just talking about it will give me the jeepers. Chief Gustavo will want to know you will help. He might even be able to offer you something for your troubles. Things haven't been the same since those ghouls showed up. Has everyone on edge. Later. You better be Ten Penny Tower is a we wonderful place to live. We are safe from the wasteland in here. Edgar, how are you? Miss Primrose, I'm quite well, too thank you. Hard. Poor girl. How is she ever how are supposed things? to land a good I'm husband? I'm quite well, thank you. We are safe from the wasteland in here. Huh? Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. How are things? Oh, Hi. just wonderful. Thanks for asking. This is the Tenpenny Wellness Clinic, and I am Dr. Banfield. I keep the residents healthy. Yes, the healing art is a rewarding occupation. Is there something I can help you with? My current theory is that the destructive disease of the ghoul condition will always eventually render him little more than a mindless killer.
the proverbial wasteland zombie with a predilection for raw human flesh. They can't be cured. And there's nothing to alleviate the symptoms. All in all, it seems rather sad, really. Well, not exactly, but my colleagues have published papers. I suppose someone ought to verify their findings. Perhaps I'll do that. Who knows? I might even finally get published. Welcome back to the wellness. People are healthy here. They eat well and have a strong roof over their head. Tenpenny is very selective about who he allows to live here. The correct genes and living conditions make for a relatively disease-free environment. Clean water is still a concern, of course. But we've got enough chems to keep the radiation sickness at bay. That's why he won't allow those ghouls to live here. Why introduce a weakness into a healthy system? Well, um, I guess I must confess... I've never examined a ghoul up close. You're right. I shouldn't make assumptions. He's the landlord, although you hardly ever see him. I had to treat him once for bed sores, if you know what I mean. Wait! Don't tell him I said that. Don't get hurt out there. How is the tower's favorite resident? Why, thank you, dear. How charming of you to say so. Perhaps you and I should hey. start spending some time. Watch, Watch your, your manners. manners. Hello. Herbert Dashwood. Damn glad to meet you. Call me Daring. Everyone else does. Maybe you've heard the GNR radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That's about me, you know. Based on my, um, earlier days. I even had a ghoul manservant. Let me ask you, you ever met a ghoul before? Ah, you've already learned some wisdom in your youth. Congratulations. Haven't you ever heard the radio play? The Adventures of Herbert Daring Dashwood? That guy at the radio station put it together a few years ago. He did it in the style of those shows they had before the war. Came out pretty well. And it's all true. Rockopolis, Miss Chase, all of it. Of course, they do portray me as a bit of a chump. Argyle may have saved my hide more than once, but I had my moments. Ah, those were the days. Argyle was my manservant. Ah, but that's really just a fancy word for the guy who saves my sorry skin on a regular occasion. He was a ghoul, you see. Been around since before the war. We met when I stole his girlfriend back in 41. We'd been best friends ever since. We got separated a long time ago and never reunited. If you find Argyle out there somewhere, you be sure and tell me, okay? Some ghouls moved into the nearby metro tunnel. There's a bunch of the so-called feral ghouls in there, but a handful seem the sociable type. I've tried explaining to my fellow tenants that not all ghouls are monsters, but they don't seem to care. The intelligent ones should stay away from our trigger-happy protectors. If there are enough feral ones, though, eh, they could overwhelm security. An adventurous soul like myself. If I wasn't retired, I might come with you myself. Well, until recently, the only danger you ever faced in this fine establishment was bumping into all the bloated egos floating around. But now there's a group of ghouls nearby. I've tried explaining that they don't all want to eat you, though some do, of course. Problem is, it's hard to tell which is which. Chief Gustavo has initiated a shoot-first-and-ask-later policy. If they're smart, they'll stay away. Go make a name for yourself!
Good to see you. This better be important. Ten Penny is always on time with the money, and we get fairly comfortable digs with side benefits. He owns this building. We get our caps from him, and don't you forget it. I guess we could do a little trading. Here's what I got. That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keep showing up, looking for a handout. He and his kind aren't wanted. End of story. If I were a betting man, I'd place a stack of caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. But I can't spare the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits, or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. Tenpenny doesn't care how big their pile of bottle caps is. He won't let ghouls live here. Those ghouls need to give up and go bother someone else. Your bleeding heart is liable to get you in a lot of trouble one day. Look, kid, eventually all ghouls go zombie on your ass. It's only a matter of time. Kill them when you find them. It's a win-win. You put them out of their misery and save someone else from getting torn apart. That's a laugh. Roy Phillips can't be reasoned with. Trust me. But go ahead and try and talk some sense into him. It's your funeral. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. They've barred the main entrance. Go through the train yard. Good luck, kid. You're gonna need it.
You there! Put your weapons away! Come over here! No funny business, unless you want to get shot. What are you doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. Oh yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Believe it or not, I used to vacation there. I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt. But we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. Go live your life, kid. Oh, hello. I'm Bessie Lynn. I... I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I, I hope you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone. But someone like you... 
Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that. Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. He's strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the others follow him. Me, I just like the way he looks at me. Makes me feel pretty again. I'd go anywhere with him. Oh, well, it's not so bad, I guess. Once you get used to it. But it's not like before. I used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. People stop wanting to be around you, though. When it starts to happen. When you start to change, I mean. Oh, okay then. Have a nice one. What do you want? So you killed a bunch of feral ghouls. Is that supposed to sound impressive? I got no compassion left for those mindless freaks. But they were a nice deterrent keeping out smooth-skinned bastards like yourself. You better choose your next words really carefully, cause you're starting to piss me off. Sure, whatever you say, you pretentious two-faced asshole. Uh-huh. Fine, whatever. Being a ghoul ain't anything worse than any other thing somebody's got to deal with. Like your stupidity, for example. You can't help it. You were born stupid, or dropped on your head as a kid. Either way, it ain't nothing you can change. So you deal with it. Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. Ghouls aren't built for luxury and comfort, is that it? You think ghouls belong scurrying around in that dark, dank, underbelly of the wasteland? You got a lot of nerve. Not sure where you come from, kid, but out here in the wasteland, everything's up for grabs. And you only get to keep what you can hold on to. Tenpenny didn't build that tower. He found it, and took it from whoever used to own it. Now we're gonna take it from him. We tried playing nice, but they shot at us. Fuck them. It's time for them and their bigot ways to die. If I'm no better than Tenpenny, then he should let me into that tower. But he won't, so I'm busting in. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. There must be some way to get that open. Ha! Ah, those snooty bitches probably can't stand living with each other, let alone with us. But by all means, try talking to Tenpenny if you like. But it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on them. Oh my god. Want some Didn't think you had it in you. Guess you proved me wrong. Good job. Knowing those ghouls are gone takes a load off my mind. Thanks. You'll be wanting the reward now, won't you? I suppose you've earned it. There's your caps. 
Contract fulfilled, debt paid. This don't mean we're buddies, all right? Now get going. Hello! Hello! Good day. <laughs>